In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord, have you came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ, have you were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O oh Lord, with unfailing care that relies solely on the hope of heavenly grace. They may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unit of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job began to speak. Is not man's life on earth nothing more than precious service? Is time no better than hired drudgery? Like the slave, sign for the shade, or the workman with no thoughts but his wages. Months of delusion I have assigned to me, nothing for my own but nights of grief. Lying in bed I wonder, when will it be day? Risen I think, how slowly evening comes. Restlessly I fret till twilight falls. Swifter than a weaver's shuttle, my days have passed and vanished leaving no hope behind. Remember that my life is but a breath and that my eyes will never again see joy. The Word of the Lord. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord for he is good Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. Amen. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and mighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the slow, lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I do not boast of preaching the gospel, since it is a duty 
which has been laid on me. I should be punished if I did not preach it. If I had chosen this work myself, I might have been paid for it. But as I have not, it is a responsibility which has been put into my hands. Do you know what my reward is? It is this, in my preaching, to be able to offer the good news free and not insist on the rights which the gospel gives me. So, though I am not a slave of any man, I have made myself the slave of everyone so as to win as many as I could. For the weak, I made myself weak. I made myself all things to all men in order to save some at any cost. And I still do this for the sake of the gospel to have a share in its blessing. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus went with James and John straight to the house of Simon and Andrew. Now Simon's mother-in-law had gone to bed with fever, and they told him about her straight away. He went to her, took her by the hand, and helped her up. And the fever left her, and she began to wait on them. That evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were possessed by devils. The whole town came crowding round the door, and he cured many who were suffering from diseases of one kind or another. He also cast out many devils, but he would not allow them to speak because they knew who he was. In the morning, long before dawn, he got up and left the house, and he went off to a lonely place and prayed there. Simon and his companions set out in search of him, and when they found him, they said, Everybody is looking for you. He answered, Let us go elsewhere to the neighboring country's towns so that I can speak there too, because that is why I came. And he went all through Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out devils. The Gospel of the Lord. It is said that life without a mission is like a life without motion. In other words, death, practically. No mission, no motion. No motion, no mission. The person who lives without a mission, that means he has no purpose of life. To live without a mission, that means we know that we are sent and we are moving towards something. At times, we lose this sense when we suffer, when we get troubles, when we incur difficulties, which are difficult even to, which, which are difficult even to define. Job was one of them. He was so close to God, but when he got problems, his wealth, his family, his health, then he, got, he lost this sense of mission, and he also lost this sense of motion. We know the rest of the book of Job, that he came back to the senses. He said for him, life is like a drudgery. It's meaningless, boring. It's like a slave waiting for uh, 
waiting to be released. So like a person who just work for salary, his purpose is just for salary. So he has no motivation apart from salary. This is the time when we get difficult. But Jesus, who was sent by God, knew his mission and his purpose. His mission was salvation. And salvation of the whole human kind, whole human person. That's why he was healing, casting out demons, pain. We are told from the gospel that he went to the house of Simon Peter and found the mother-in-law was sick. Straight away he healed this woman so that she could continue with her mission, purpose of life. But Jesus did not end up there. Many people were brought to him because they saw in him that is a person who gives the sense of life. Crowd, crowd, brought every kind of problems to Jesus. But Jesus also knew his mission and his purpose. Early in the morning, he went to a lonely place. Hey, even when Peter, Simon, and then we are searching for him, tell him that everybody's looking for you. He knew that they have not understood. He said, I, I, I came to tell the, the meaning of life, salvation. I came to preach, not only to heal. I came to show the sense of life. It's for this purpose I came, to preach salvation, freedom, total freedom to human person. St. Paul knew this. That's why he says, I was appointed to preach this salvation. He says, I'm not working for payment. Working because I was appointed by God. He knew that the mission to preach the word of God, this good news, was the one which gave him sense. That's why he said that this is the mission I was given, and I have to preach it come what may. Dear brothers and sisters, do we know our mission? If you don't know our mission, then even our motion not be there. We don't have something to pull us towards a certain end. We don't have purpose. Our mission is give or healing the season which Jesus was doing, trying to bring that sense of life. At the times we get difficulties, everybody wants tell me. Then we we ask ourselves, what is the meaning of life? But once we know, once we come to our senses and understand that our life, the mission sent by God to the salvation of mankind, just like Jesus did up to the cross, never gave up. So too, we are called to come back to our senses, understand that life without a mission is like life without motion. That's why we are told from the psalm that we have to pray so that the Lord who heals the broken heart may heal us and understand our purpose and the meaning of I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered at Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there I will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints.
Let us offer our petitions to the compassionate Father who sent his Son to bring healing and salvation. Together we pray, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may fill the church and her leaders with grace and zeal to proclaim the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may guide those entrusted with civil responsibility to serve the common good with selflessness and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may banish disease, heal the brokenhearted, strengthen caregivers, protect refugees, and bring hope to the discouraged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may reveal himself to all who look for him and make us witnesses of his compassion and humility. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may raise up the faithful departed to the joy of eternal life and light. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, hope and strength of those who seek you. Answer the petitions of your people and give us your saving help. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed the day are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of death and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed day are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Through the divine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise in God of His name, for our good and the good of all His children. O Lord our God, who once established three these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, all Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
We sing the hymn of your glory as without end we are clay. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make whole, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willing into his passion. He took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this soul of you and eat of it. For this is my body, will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this soul of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us with to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, follow our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us no temptation, but deliver us from. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. 
Let us all fight each other the sign of Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not with you, and my Lord, but only say the word, my soul shall be. Let us pray. O God, 
who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May your almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.